Well, hello, everybody. We're recording, and we're live on Facebook, and uh, I think we're okay. Um, yeah, okay. All right. Um, I had a little problem today, but uh, we're getting on okay now. All right. Let me just make sure we're on the uh, on here. Let me see. Are we going? There we go. And uh, there we go. Okay. And this says Alex Bennett's pop-up. Let me just rename it, edit post, uh, pop-up for, uh, let's see here. This is 322, uh, 20, 21. There we go. I got to do this because I couldn't do it with this keyboard here. Uh, and the reason I couldn't do it with this keyboard here is I spilled some coffee in it yesterday and the two doesn't work. Oh man, that's terrible. Anyway, it's time now for us to go live. Oh, and let me turn this on too. So I have some lights on me. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we do this rather casually. We don't do all the, uh, bells and whistles and so boy look at all the people we got here hello everybody hello hi, alex yeah hey how are you there's hello there oh, checky looks like he's it looks like you have a blanket over you checky or is that a sweater oh it's a sweater a sweater must be cold in your uh, house right uh, well you know i keep it i think it's at 58 now the thermostat i see okay hello mandy hello i don't, I don't want to waste money on energy yeah. <laughs> hello, Mike. Hello, Alan. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Jeffrey. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Charlie Wallace. Hello, Steve Bender. And I guess we'll be joined by Marjorie shortly because she's still, I think, talking to her girlfriend, you know. So anyway, how y'all doing today, this week? Uh, fantastic. Beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Is it, you're from your... your you, uh, Len Lafrisco, you've got a car background there. No, no that's a that's a seven eighty seven jet cockpit. Oh, really? oh, okay. Great. How many of those do you have? Uh, yeah, three. How many? How many, <laughs> how, many how, how many do you own? I think. Yeah. Is a question to be asked here. I'll yeah. take it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, let's see here, Mandy. Everything going okay in Georgia? Yeah. Yeah, it's like seventy degrees. Oh boy! Nice. Yeah. What today, are we, what are we and, now, Shay? Got... Here in New York, it's, <laughs> it's around sixty today. Uh, it's fifty nine wow. degrees. I just... We're at six sixty six. Sixty six. Wow. Where you are in wow. Cleveland? Cleveland. And wow, uh, you guys got warm weather. Charlie, it's like weather like right where you are, Charlie? It's uh, seventy. Seventy. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Sixty one. Okay. 61 in the Connecticut. Okay, so I'm pulling up the rear here, so to speak. 60 in California. How many? 60 in California. 60. Yeah, yeah it's, it's supposed to be 80 out here by uh, by the weekend, so it's going to be nice. Yes. Are you in California, Lynn? Yeah, Livermore. Oh, Fremont. Oh, no. Nice. So it's rainy today here. That's why I saw in the 70s. Yeah, yeah. And how how's the death rate going there? We always call Charlie Doctor Doom on the night show <laughs> because Doctor Doom uh, uh, gives us the. Hey, we're getting close. We're getting close to six hundred thousand. Oh, we're are we really? Close. Oh, okay, good. Uh, good for us. We're. Good good for there. Uh, you know, I get this whole thing here. I, I love this. You know, I, we go and get the shot, right, Shecky? Yeah. And all of a sudden, New York decides that it's going to be the center place for uh, the variant. <laughs> and the well, that's because the mayor is trying to become the governor. So he's just going to do anything to yeah. trash Cuomo. Oh, I see. OK. Well, the variant is, uh, is supposedly out there. And supposedly, the vaccine we got may not be good for it. No, like, did no. you see the Republican member of the House of Representatives who went after Cuomo a couple of weeks ago and was planning to run against him. Uh, had a sex scandal. <laughs> he had a sex scandal? Guy named, I think is Reed. I'm not sure if, his, if that's the exact name. Yeah. Yeah, he got drunk in a bar and was trying to unhook a woman's bra. <laughs> tried to unhook a woman's bra. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what are we in seventh grade? 
I was just going to say that's my entire grade summed up right so there. He's <laughs> now, he's a governor, and he's not going to run for the House of Representatives again in 2022. I see. And and he's, very sorry, and he's been in rehab. He, you know. He's been in, uh, they all go to rehab, don't they? Yeah. 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 And it's been four years since he had a, supposedly had a drink. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So it wasn't rehab for unhooking bras. <laughs> no, but apparently <laughs> some bar and they had to drag him out, you know, of the Listen, bar. I gotta, so I gotta, blanket. It, look, you got to hand it to him. Uh, when I was out dating in the dating pool and I would go out with somebody and we'd start making out, of course, there was always that part where the guy has to undo the woman's bra. It's just, it's the law. Okay. <laughs> just one move, buddy. It's just yeah. the index. The, yeah, I got very good at it. I could do it with one finger. I don't care what the bra was. It could be like, it could have a padlock on it. I could get it undone. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I so the that fact that he managed to Marjorie going to come bra. on this call and attest to all this. <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing and pull this off <laughs> in a bar. I think confirm it, that this is your ability. What What were you going to say, Mandy? Mandy, I just said, is she, "Are you? Are, can you hear me?" Yeah. Yes. Um, I said, "Is she going to come on here and confirm your ability to do that?" Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that I have to hand it to this guy to be able to pull it off while he's sitting in a bar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, True. And, drunk. The worst, and drunk. And drunk. The, the and worst part is having to explain line. it. Explain it to ER how you got tetanus from a dirty girl's bra strap. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the blind <laughs> prostitute. You really had to hand it to her. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh. So... <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, uh, but uh, so he's not uh, he's not complaining about Cuomo anymore. No, no, no. You know that woman running for borough president in Manhattan. She's still complaining. Is that what's her, what's her name? Do you know her name? Because I saw one name of one woman that was complaining, and I think she was the woman that was the borough. It might have been. Yeah. And I've read, and again, I can't remember the other guy. She ran against someone last year. And got her clock cleaned. Yeah. Well, but she can't get a clock clean this year because that would be sexual behavior. And uh, I don't yeah, well, know. it's ridiculous. It's I could use good clock cleaning every once in a while. Well, I'm, I'm kind of mad because, uh, you know, they, they've slowed Cuomo down. I don't know if you've seen him on any of his, uh, his uh, daily briefings which he doesn't do anymore anywhere else but at vaccine centers where the press can't ask him questions and at churches they're usually like churches now or black churches yeah black churches he, i haven't seen him back. in a white church yet have you no yeah um i wouldn't either black churches are way more interesting than white churches <laughs> yes i agree yeah what happened to alan's picture i don't know alan i'm still here you're still I'm there. Out something. I got a new computer. Oh, good. Apparently, it wants to blind me. <laughs> there, there you go. go. There you there go. Is. Okay, there you go. See, the yeah. only thing is your picture is square. It's not the full screen. Well, it's like I, Justice League movie. He's four by three. A four by three. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. Yeah, uh, like Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder is, is doing your video, right, Alan? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's see if I can change the video aspect. Uh, if you go into your settings, I think. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> look at this okay. techie. Yeah, look. I'm learning. <laughs> Not even new, breathing hard to do that. New one. powerful computer today. So. Mm hmm but then what, kind, what kind did you get? What kind? Did oh, you uh, Hewlett Packard uh, gaming computer. I don't know. A Hewlett friend Packard of my gaming of my, computer. Yeah, yeah, a friend of mine I, bought it for I don't know uh, thirty two hundred dollars, and I gave him twelve hundred for it. He, <laughs> he, he never he never set it up and uh, oh. got it from Costco, and so I got a two year guarantee and everything. And he couldn't Beautiful. afford it. All of a sudden, you he needed money. Out why these gaming computers? If you want to get a powerful computer, okay, to do some really powerful computing, they're all gaming computers. Yeah. Mm, and yeah. I don't want to play you, games on my computer. Yeah, you I don't, don't have play to games. Play games. I'm doing the Xbox. I'm doing the PS4. 
four or five or whatever you can lay your hands on. I'm not doing. Uh, uh, well, you know, the price was right because it's got 64 meg of or gig of RAM or mega RAM. Yeah. My last computer had 16. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's got a solid state hard drive. And it's got a top of line i7 core eight core processor. Nice. <laughs> and a uh, and and uh, eight gig of video RAM. There you go. Yeah, the the cost is in the video cards. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, the thing the top video of, card in there is like four hundred and fifty bucks. This is yeah. how we can brag, you know, about. <laughs> you know, uh, I would never have paid thirty two hundred for it, but yeah, twelve hundred. Uh, I, my uh, Mac uh, has an E5 Xeon, 2.7 gigahertz, memory 64 gigabytes, and then it has a gigabits, uh, a, 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 a gigabits and then it, it's, it's, it's a really powerful computer all the way around. Mm, wow. But uh, I told you the story on this one. I bought it uh, on eBay. It was a, one of the old Mac Pros, the cylinder, the trash can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And within a month or two, it went bad on me. So I took it down to... Um, Did it hold you a knife? It cost me $3,000. I took it down to the uh, Apple store, and they said, oh, it looks like it needs a new graphics card. So they put a new graphics card in it, and I brought it home, and it didn't work still. So I took it back and they said, well, we have to send it down to Houston, but no matter how much it costs down there, you've already paid as much as you're going to pay because we have a policy here at Apple that if you, uh -huh. if we can't get it working because we told you you needed a card or something like that, that's as much as it's going to cost you. So uh -huh. they sent it down to Houston or they replaced half of the stuff inside the computer, send it back to me, still the 400 bucks I had originally put out. Wow. Uh -huh. Bring it home. It doesn't work. Oh. It still has the same problem. I take it back down. They say, send it back down to Houston. They send it back down to Houston. Houston, literally, except for, I think, the power unit, replaced everything in that computer. It was like I was getting a new $9,000 computer, right? And it came back and worked just fine. It cost me 400 bucks. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So that, that's, that's why I like Apple. You know, so they do nice things like that. Well, my last computer was a Dell business computer. It lasted four years. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Dells are fine. You know, I just, this show, I uh, I do on a PC. The All the other shows I do on I'll PC. send you my old Dell. <laughs> I don't need it. I got two old HPs sitting here. Oh, uh, HPs a good quality, huh? I don't know. You know, I, when it oh, comes to PCs, they all look alike to me. Yeah. And when it come to Mac, when it comes to Macs, there's only one Apple. You know, yeah. so whatever. You it's know. just whatever components they have. Shaky, did yeah. you up? Uh, did you manage to watch this Zack Snyder thing, the Justice League? Yes, I finally watched it in pieces. Yeah, I watched it too. I found that the uh, the aspect ratio didn't bother me as much as I started watching it. Well, I think I emailed you, or maybe I emailed Mike. First 90 minutes, five title cards, like the old yeah, serials. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, Cyborg, blah, 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 dissolve. Aquaman, blah, 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 dissolve. We didn't need to see 20 minutes of Aquaman in some Norwegian fishing village. Well, what happened with was I... Uh, I never saw the original, so I went back to the original, which is a completely different picture. Yeah. Completely. Okay. The difference being this one is just ultra long. And yeah, uh, you, you could take 90 minutes out of it at the top, and of course, take 20 minutes of it out at the end. Well, you know what? I'll tell you what I like. Uh, this weekend, I got Marjorie to watch the whole second season of Mandalorian. Okay. Yes. Uh, which is a great show. Yeah. It's a terrific show. And the difference, I, and then I watched Justice League, and the difference is in Justice League, whenever there was an action sequence, it was totally incoherent. <laughs> you can't tell who's fighting who, and it's, oh, yeah. look at the graphics we're doing now, and so on. Where on Mandalorian, when they had a fight, you knew who was hitting somebody and who was hitting back. 
Who knows? And I think the problem with a lot of these action films like the Avengers and all of them is they're fine as long as they're narrative, but the minute they get into the action, it, they just completely lose you. There's no coherency in the fighting. Am I right about that or am I wrong? Part, yeah. part of what you're saying is, is, is because Mandalorian is shot very, very intentionally like a spaghetti Western. Mm -hmm. And spaghetti Westerns are always dead clear like what you were just talking about. Yeah. A lot of these comic book movies, they try and make literally come off the page a big comic book splash page. And when it doesn't translate the same way very easily the way that a spaghetti western would in uh, in sci-fi you know it's amazing but i think everything kind of comes back to the westerns if you think about it you know it, 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 you know you could say a batman was a western of sorts you know but mandalorian is definitely done as a, a leone western there's no question yep. about it but what i'm saying is is it maybe it's because I'm old, but I when I want I see a fight sequence, I want to see some linear logic in the fight sequence. Uh, not that everybody's bouncing off everybody else of it, you know, and everybody's blowing up and this is going, and I'm going, do I need this? When this film, the Zack Snyder thing, went back to just being like, you know, Superman and Lois back at the farm, then it got okay. You know, there was some heart to it. There was some pathos to it and whatever. And then all of a sudden, next we're back to slam bang. I can't understand what's going on. And is that just me because I'm old and I'm not I mean, a kid? I mean, I think young, I think young people, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I was a film teacher for 25 years. I think young people are just conditioned to this level of Mishigas that the portal has to open up and all this shit has to come flowing through and they need to be, ah, and it's totally incoherent. I mean, you know, but unlike you i mean i really think all this stuff is the death of cinema but i think i couldn't make it through the i couldn't make it through the trailer for justice league i couldn't sit through two minutes well, let's ask our expert on cinema shecky is it cinema no well mike knows because i emailed him the frankfurter scene is one of the worst shot things i've ever seen in cinema history the frankfurter scene yes the thing with the flash yeah yeah I mean, and let's go to the slow motion with the fastest man alive. Yeah. Squish yeah, well, I, I always love that when they went, when he was going really fast, everything was going really slow. Mm. Which I suppose maybe it would be, but I, I can only take so much slow-mo in a movie before I'm about ready to almost give up on it. No well, way. then you've seen the director's artistry. <laughs> He's I mean, an artist. Well, no wonder the picture is four hours long. Everything's in slow mo, and you've got the flash there. You know. Oh yeah, that's one of the most decadent movies I've ever seen in my whole life for that stuff. It's it is literally like an art house movie, a superhero movie for yeah. sure. In case people don't know what we're talking about, Zack Snyder, who I consider one of the worst directors in Hollywood, uh, put up his cut of Justice League. And by the way, he has the directing credit on the old Justice League movie. Uh, so I don't know how this is an upgrade, but he went back and re-edited the whole thing and did new scenes for it and everything. I think he only did like one or two new scenes. I'm, I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah, there's only a couple of reshoots. There weren't very many. Like the Joker and a couple of things like but that. But he re-edited it so everything went slower and he used scenes that were weren't used the first yeah. time. You know, and so on. Uh, the original movie only had about thirty percent of his footage. Only had about thirty percent of his footage. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, it was too much. And then at the end, they do the epilogue, and they go into this whole scenario that I'm trying to figure out: Does this take place on another world? What is going on here? No, and, man, that's Earth. Uh, no, and it turns out, oh, I was only dreaming. Oh, oh, I hate when they do that movie. You're kidding. Except he wasn't, yeah. because if they made another one, yeah, the next movie would be Dark Side showing up, and that would happen to the Earth. God, I hope they don't make another movie. They're not gonna make another. <laughs> it's like when Dallas make... on the show Dallas yeah. when they did yeah, it that Bobby, one time, they everybody started. thought that you had to make something a dream. It seemed like so many people copied that idea. Yeah. After, like, after yeah. Oz, there's no need to do well, this. When all of a sudden I'm watching yeah. this movie and Absolutely. Batman wakes up, I go, oh, I was suckered again. 
<laughs> oh, and, and also Superman's dead, but Lois has a pregnancy kit in her bedroom, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Mm. And who knows if, you know, what, what Superman's sperm count is. He may be the strongest <laughs> man alive. It seems like it, it would be watered yeah. down if you're with a mortal. What? what? <laughs> He's doing Batman. What'd you say, Rick? Well, I said there's a rumor she was doing Batman while, quote, Superman was dead. Uh, and that she is, that? There is a reference to kind of that, that uh, Batman's girlfriend is Lois. Yeah. And that Boy. she's knocked up, and if there were a sequel, there will be Batman Jr. <laughs> so, so the lesson, never, never date a woman that has a superhero fetish? Is that... <laughs> it's weird. Wasn't the but thing? Wouldn't Superman have blown a hole in her back? What, what were you saying, Mandy? <laughs> I was just going to say somebody explained this to me. Batman's not really like superhero. He is a superhero, but he's just like a regular dude. No, he's just really he's rich, very accomplished. He's very accomplished, smart, but he's not like Superman not that super comes from rich. another planet. Yeah, yeah he does. He's the world's greatest detective. He doesn't have X-ray vision. He's like a gymnast. He's. In I think in the movie, the one good joke in the movie is, I think somebody says to him, "What's your, what's your, what?" I'm what, rich. What? No. What? What's your, your super, uh, superpower? What's your superpower? He said, "I'm, I'm a, wealthy. I'm Actually, wealthy. I'm wealthy. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm what? Rich. He said. I mean, he buys all this technology. Right. Yeah. That's what. And I'm okay. This is the thing I always liked about Batman. You know, when you get a superhero, you can paint a superhero into a corner where. There's nothing that can get him anymore. So what's yeah. the, you know, that's why I think kryptonite was a good device in Superman because there was something he could, yeah, could weaken. Oh yeah, you know. Well, wasn't the guy the red the guy in the red robot suit just a guy who buys tech too? Yeah. Flies around. Um, Iron Man. Iron Man. I don't, know. Yeah. I don't watch that, but yeah, there's a yeah, yeah Robert Downey Jr. Hero. No. Yeah, yeah. He, fact, he, he was very weak without the suit. He was practically dying without the suit on. Yeah, again. Well, he had, a, he had a heart condition. Yeah. Yeah, but also he, you know, it's kind of like Bruce Wayne. He's very rich, you know, and he can do anything he wants to. But I, uh, uh, what I want to also ask Shecky about, we both watch a show none of you probably watch called Batwoman. Told Batwoman? You. Batwoman. Don't convince me to watch it. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's a very good show this year. I think it, it. what happened was, is the star of the show after her first season said, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> okay. So they said, okay, if you don't want to do it anymore, we don't want you around, goodbye. And they went and tried to cobble together a plot in which the old character is dead, maybe in a plane crash, but maybe he isn't dead. And that there's this one girl who's playing Batwoman it 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 just it's going right it's going nowhere right rick yeah and as i told you that you know kate kane is back kate kane is back but they have a different actress playing her because Correct. she was in a plane accident and, and her face on, changed right yeah. that's so soap opera that's it, it sounds like hail mary they're all soap operas they're all soap operas but i got Mar yeah. marjorie to watch mandalorian and she wound mm -hmm. up loving it i did I'm yoda sorry. Fantastic. Yoda. You, know, you know what appeals to women in that show? Tell them. Yoda. Baby Little baby Yoda. Yoda. Baby Yoda. Yeah. 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 Just want to hold them. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to hold them. <laughs> yeah. I, I, there was a great shot in the documentary that goes along with it, in which George Lucas is holding the baby Yoda. They George. hand them over. They uh, hand him over to him, and he uh, the thing they have a guy in back of him with the stuff working him so that he's moving. And somebody from the I don't know who says it says one of the crew. Hey, 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 hey uh, baby, that's your great grandfather. No, that's your great 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 grandfather. <laughs> father, something. Like that. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, so I mean, uh, the, uh, it seems that with all these things, whether it's the the uh, the uh, DC stuff or the Marvel stuff or the Star Wars stuff and uh, stuff that Disney owns as well, uh, that they, they are all, they're all wandering around trying to find something. And the only person who's come up with anything 
that adds to all these franchises is what John Favreau did with the Mandalorian. Oh he completely yes, completely went back to the to what the basics of Star Wars was. And what's interesting is everybody that worked on the crew grew up on Star Wars. Yeah, they were all kids. Yeah, you know? and and they were more they were more aware of the mythology of Star Wars than any of the adults working on the show because they grew up with it. They knew that, uh, hey, where do we get the dragon from? Well, you remember that skeleton of that thing when the three CPO is walking around in the desert? Mm -hmm. That's probably what we should use as our dragon because that's where he came from. That was a skeleton of him. So they- I'm a, I'm a huge Star Wars fan and have been since I was a little kid. And the moment I saw the crate dragon, I started freaking out. Really? Well, you could take out. For that? You knew where it came from. Oh yeah, because there's been so much talk about a crate dragon, and oh no, we've never seen one. It's all oh yeah, like like if you go deep down that rabbit hole, uh, they've done a lot of fan service in the Mandalorian, a lot of it. They really have, and I was never a fan going back, but as Alex used to point out to me, like all these things were from the beginning. I mean, they had stuff that was sitting in the Star Wars bar in the first movie that find themselves into this storyline. As a right. Star Wars bar from the first movie is yes, in they go back to the cantina. Yeah, well, yeah. that's one of the best scenes ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you see now you you got somebody like like Mandy here. It's a little. She's over fifty, so she comes mm -hmm. at Star Wars from a different direction. Then how old are you? Yeah. Mike? I'm forty five. 45 then mike does and that if we had even a kid who was younger here uh it would be yet another you know uh but what was interesting in in, in that um biography on the making of is how all the people that worked on it grew up with it yeah they knew everything yeah yep yeah, absolutely yeah. so I, your very your hair is very curly today marjorie i washed it Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> I took my weekly shower today. You know, when you're in, when you're, when, when you're in a pandemic, you, there are things you forget to do. It totally starts. At How many here forget to take showers? I did one right before the show. See? And, and when was the last one before this? Friday, maybe. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> You know, until until she says to me, "You're starting to smell." I don't well, think about if I leave the house. I, do. I asked him if he farted, but and it came out of his mouth. In, I don't bother. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, have, I have to force myself to remind myself to a take my pills every day, which I forget because days become. That's well, a hard thing. Yeah, it's a hard thing. You're right, Jeff. That's right. Yeah, I but that's you how I know what day it twice. is. Twice. What do you think, Jeff? I have to take them twice a day. You have to take them twice a day. Yeah, oh, yeah, and Marjorie takes them twice a day too, because some pills are better to take at night than to take right. during the morning. And so on. Oh, no, I know I, what day it is, but which ones oh, are yeah, that's what Alex has. I <laughs> have one of those, but I have a, yours is only two weeks worth. Mine's a month. It's got a month. Oh yeah, oh, that's thanks. that's for old people. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Really? Thank you. Krebs mother has that. Too. Yeah. Hey, hey, Alex, if it, if it makes you feel any better, I don't take any pills. Yeah, I, I don't either. I, 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 don't, I take absolutely nothing. I get up every morning. I, I get my shower. I commute to the front of the house where my office is. Yeah. I get yeah. dressed. Exactly. I, I, I pretend I'm going to the office every day just to keep, a, keep yeah. things normal. But every week, you never get out of that conference room. <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, the, the cleaning crew was in yesterday. You can see there's not so much dust on the table. <laughs> we had, we had, we had those chickens running around, and we had to clean up after. How big is your, <laughs> how big is your green screen? Oh, they're the chickens. Yeah. How big is your green screen? Um, it's twenty by by twelve, I think. But I only use a small portion of it. Yeah. Because well, I, because I, I, I crop myself in. Here. Yeah, I have mine, so it's close to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's so. Yeah, and when I shrink, you know, shrink down, it's it goes with me. That's good. Yeah, and you could probably. Put By it. the way, Ben, that show you told me you like younger. <clears throat> younger. Did you know that Paramount Plus has to give it to Hulu day and date? Oh really? 
because they used to conference. watch that show. What? What did you say, Mandy? I said I watched that show, and it was one of those shows where the first season was just so cute, and I couldn't wait for the second season to come out, and I had to wait and wait and wait for it to come on Hulu, and then I started watching the second one, and I'd like walk out of the room. You know, what was it? it? What was it? Which one? Young. It's called Younger. Yeah. Younger? Yeah. Really? I love well, we, it. We watched. We binge watched the whole series. Yeah, we binge. But what did you think about the second season? I, I, was, I didn't think it was as good as the first one. I think it's, it's because up. the secret was out. It was the whole point was no, the it secret was the secret. wasn't out till fifth season. Yeah, or till to, to oh, the whatever, general. Whatever, whatever every, season. every season. Okay, a new maybe person, every season a new person found out about. It. Except for Diane. By the way, for people who are <laughs> listening to us, and I noticed we have a, a lack of people listening to us today, for some reason, I guess because we started talking about sci-fi. I don't know. Yeah. Well, okay, you're right. Younger, it was not season younger. two. It was whatever season. It was younger, the last season. Younger is a show that is about a woman who is uh, 40, 41, something like yes, that. Yes, kids. She's the boy. In order to get a job, says she's 27. And so she has to live with this deceit throughout the entire series. And each season, somebody, one of the cast members, finds out, you know, until finally everybody knows except one person. You know, when, and and uh, I, it was the last, I think the last season, the sixth season I watched, was a little kind of slower than the rest because the, the, the main premise was pretty well spent, you know. That, that's what I'm talking about. It was and the they last were trying season. to figure out what to do with the show. But okay, I like we'll the see. They're ending this season. I think Hillary Duff is precious. And we went to go see Hillary Duff in concert when my girls were young. Oh, boy. And. And she, it was when she had her like pop albums out and she was out on stage. My girls were just like this and the speaker blew up and like caught on fire oh and my. everybody started freaking out and running out. And I just froze because I thought I'm not going to get trampled by these people. But <laughs> they ended up putting it out. You know, they got it contained or whatever, but she yeah. finally came back on stage when, and finished the show. When, but. when you binge watch though, there are things you notice because they're you know the, the next season takes place a day later right so yeah. if you're going from season to season to season to season you see changes more profoundly yeah and, and hillary duff really put on the pounds during this well, she, was I think she had a baby or something yeah, yeah she, she had a baby twice yeah. during the series yeah yeah, yeah. I think she had two ba two children during the series yes. yeah yeah i love her though She's so cute, well, but I like the other actress. I didn't. I'd never seen that other actress well, that played you're talking the main about character. Foster. Uh, oh, Sutton Foster is one of the greatest actresses on she's Broadway. Like, she's like the, the queen of me. Broadway. She's she's basically she's royalty on Broadway. Yeah. yeah. There was a moment where they let her sing. Yeah, she's won two Tonys. Okay, that's how big she is. Yes, Alan. So um, I'm totally lost in the first half hour of all this stuff. So you can see that I don't follow it. And obviously, your listeners don't follow it either. Maybe that's why you got no listeners. Yeah, that's probably the reason why. So, so if I wanted well, to get the audience back, what do you watch that we don't watch? This is for us, not the listeners. Oh, yeah. this is show. <laughs> we don't no, no, no. Can, can, we can, have, I mean, I don't, don't, don't stop on my behalf. If we have, uh, I'm just kidding. I'm I just watch joking. YouTube and. Uh, the History <laughs> Channel, and then CNN. Can, can you imagine, Alex, if back in the day, if you had that kind of analytics where you could see how many people are listening at any given moment to see if what we were oh, talking I'll about? I'll tell you, it's, it's actually depressing. <laughs> it's really depressing. Uh, huh. You know, I often said, they said, well, how many people do you have on, uh, K on, on the internet as opposed to what you had at Sirius XM? Yeah. And I said... Sirius XM lies about their numbers. I said, they don't know how many people are listening to Sirius right. XM. There's no right. way they can track outside of looking no. at their, at their no. internet numbers. But yeah. with, the, with the satellite, they can't tell how many people are listening to it. I said, for all I know, I've got more people now where it says like 14 on here. Right. Okay. Than I had when I was working at Sirius XM. We didn't know. Mm. We're working in a total vacuum. Huh. Well, what they're, say, they're saying about the Justice League that HBO Max might never have the actual numbers of subscribers who came to their service just for that. 
Right. Well, I think they but can't. they're going to put out press oh, releases. Oh, came to it just for that. Just for that. Okay. Because oh. they can tell how many watched it. You know. Yeah, yeah. but they're going to put out press releases trying to spin it. That, in, you fact, know. in fact, we got to say that we have more solid numbers where the internet is concerned than we ever have with radio or television. Oh, I'm, sh I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. They, did, they just like had you, you know, they had a handful of people that represented everybody. Right. Okay. That they polled. Whereas with this, they can tell you down to the number how many people have. Are, I can. Yeah. Tell you, I can probably tell you how many. I can tell you right now. It says uh, sixteen. Oh, we're up now. Sixteen people. <laughs> but, you, know, watching and, but you live. You lived and died by those numbers, whether they were accurate or not. Mm -hmm. Right. That was the worst part about it. Yeah. Every, every month we would get the ratings would come in, and we would sit there. There was this like, you know, teletype. They would come yeah. up one, uh, and all of a sudden it start going, and we'd start waiting for the numbers to come up. What's my number? What's the morning? Yeah, number? What's yeah. the morning numbers? And you live by this, and then all of a sudden, if you got a great rating that month, yeah, the, the, or it was usually every three months, and then it was every month, you were the hero of the radio station. Oh, yeah. Then you were worrying oh, about the next that? month. Yeah. 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 yeah, right. You go out, you have lunch, you party, you feel good about this, and then you think, oh my God, there's another one coming out. I got to keep this up. Yeah. <laughs> and next month it comes out, your ratings go down. All of a sudden, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> you know, it's the a ice terrible and, life and to the live. Numbers went up. Yes, I yes, man. Oh, you got to. I have to get off. Okay. Oh, uh, the, pers uh, the person next to me complained. So oh, really? What? Get um, get some earphones next month. Oh shit! <laughs> what the hell? Anyway, whatever. Well, you, you tell her we said I'm this. Not, Hope we didn't get you. Yeah. Hope we didn't get you. I'm not even. No, I'm not in trouble. But oh. I'm I'm royally pissed right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Punch the person for me, will you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Week we'll see you next Monday. Tell him we said fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's she's watching in her office, so I'm glad yeah. you said that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. 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 So, Alex, would bye. you feel better if I had the show streaming on my other screen just to add one more to your your rating? <laughs> yeah. 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 Sure. Sure. That'll do it. See, I brought up changing the subject and people started listening again. <laughs> but that wouldn't work because they didn't know you were saying it. They right. weren't listening. That's right. <laughs> that the logic is faulty. Good point, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I did? Uh, that was last week. I did an interview with, uh, I'm going to play it this week on the show at night, but I did a, an interview with uh, Debbie Durst about Wilders. Yeah, she so, just posted that on, and, on her and, Facebook page. Yeah, well, what happened was we started sending it out everywhere uh, to, to, you know, to let people know it exists. And then yeah. ask those people, you spread the word, you spread it around. The thing is just going through the roof right now. Wonderful. And, and her, her money, the money they've been getting on GoFundMe has gone up sufficient yeah i just looked at it they're up to 156 out of 160 so that's great uh, yeah yeah uh, well they raised it to 160 they were down oh. around 145 or something and then just after this they've done about ten thousand dollars durst has given us many hours of, of entertainment and i would uh yeah i need to send him some money <laughs> yeah uh it you know it it uh um it's a, it's a sad thing because when the guy's a comedian you know, yeah. and, and it, it, timing is everything, okay? Yeah. And stage presence is everything. And yeah. I, you know, he, by the way, if you ever see the interviews I do, he talks fine. He is coherent, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Except they have him on some drugs, which makes him a little loopy. But, you know, outside of you that, too. It, it, the one thing that he can't <laughs> do, and listen, we have, we have a, a person who knows about strokes here, Jeffrey. I sure do. Uh, yours, yours was Just can't about, see them. About 15 years ago, was it now? Oh, yeah, I think so. By now. Wow. Maybe even longer. He doesn't. But, uh, he doesn't I was, yeah. I was out of it for, for a year. Wow. When I was out of it. I was under therapy. Mm -hmm. Trying to learn how to talk again. Wow. A little bit. 
I like Jeffrey at night better. I can see him. He's like <laughs> blurred out. Well, you know, I moved that. over here and I thought it would be better. But, no, it's, but you, see, you got the light in back of you. Yeah, yeah. I knew it's too bright. I mean, it's nice that you're bragging how wonderful it is up there. But you see, <laughs> when you move away from it, so uh, you see that now you're probably going to be, yeah, uh, there much, you go. Better. much better. Now better. we can see him. I'm surprised nobody uh, else said it. Much I, better. We've had lunch with Jeffrey and his wife on a couple of occasions. And I got to tell you, you know, I mean, for a guy who had a stroke 15 years ago, he's in pretty damn good shape. You know, um, and uh, but but uh, you know, with Will, it's it's a matter that he also is a a comedian. If it happened to me, I guess I could just sit here, and it doesn't matter whether I walk or could move my hand or whatever. Uh, but, uh, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. It wouldn't make the show any better. Uh, <laughs> you got to try something. Have to push a button, but I, you know, you, you you know what your wife went through at that time, and you know what uh, what Debbie's going through now, you know, and it, re it really takes a lot on the part of the. It, it's the people around the person who has the stroke that are affected as much as the person who has it. Well, if not more, because they're the caretaker. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, I know that uh, Debbie is just so there for Will. I mean, if it happened to me, Marjorie, go find somebody else. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> she hasn't already? Well, that I don't know, you know, but I wouldn't blame her. wedding anniversary is coming up. Uh, when is our anniversary? Oh, I... The 27th. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Wow. Good. Now you're in the doghouse, Alex. No, tell them the story. Nice. Tell them the story in, in the, court, in the um, uh, deposition that we did about when. Uh, they asked me, when was I married? How many? And he years? said, August. And the woman <laughs> lawyer looked at me and she said, men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what it is? I'll tell you, guys don't remember stuff like that. They remember what you want to remember. No, yep. I, mean, guys, I have no trouble. The only reason, you know, the only reason why guys remember their anniversary is because if they don't, their wife will never let them forget it. Mm -hmm. You know, my wife was always forgetting it. I was the one that remembered. <laughs> Me really? too. Me too. How dare you be a considerate male? <laughs> it is a, <laughs> a problem. Come it's a Texas you. thing. <laughs> no, Ohio thing. The guy here. Yeah, they have guns married, down there. <laughs> the guy here who's never been married is uh, is is Shecky. and I've often told him I think he was the smartest of any of us. <laughs> oh, I told you. Here, yeah, I would push there. her, but she would have pushed me off the porch. What? <laughs> What'd you say? I said if I was married or had a girlfriend in the last year, one of us would have pushed the other one off the porch. Yeah. But you know, it's not. Hello, Albert. What's Hello. Not, what's not hey. true Albert, is hey. that Marjorie and I, I think we've actually gotten closer because of this, because we've been, we've spent so much time with each other. Well, 24 seven and, and being in New York where it's so cold, you can't go outside. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, that's great is we have a large apartment so we could separate for days on end and it was, it was perfect. <laughs> yeah. No, really. Yeah. My wife and I are the same way. And you don't know, Shecky, that that given you, you have a pretty big house there, that if there were somebody living with you, you had a wife or whatever, that you could it would you'd be able to get along because she could have, go to her own room and go do what she's got to do. So you've got space. It's people who live in a two one bedroom apartment that have well, got to kill each other. Used to have on um, Houston Street. Then you would have killed one of you would have killed each other. Oh, uh, I think Marjorie would have killed me first. I, I would have killed I, you. Yeah. I think <laughs> we were talking <laughs> story. That yeah, I'm hanging yeah, off the seven. surgery and Alex wouldn't pick me up at the hospital. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, were you major major surgery? It was spine surgery, and he wouldn't come up to the hospital to pick me up. I had to wait for a driver to come. He was out at the airport and he used to take me to work every day, so I knew him. <laughs> the bear. You oh, you're really in the you know, doghouse now. I, I, he I, I, the if, if, if God forbid she should go, I should go before her. And we're having the funeral. She's gonna bring this story up. <laughs> <laughs> 
you know, this is one of the kind of things about you never can let a mate uh, have something over you like that because they will never let you forget it. Well, what? that's a major, that's a major over no, and but, you'll never forget it. Well, I explained it to you. And at the time I explained it to you and I said, I will come pick you up, but it's more practical that you by the time- the fucking looking, traffic. You don't want to deal with the traffic. I said, by the time- yes, <laughs> wait, 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 Hold on, hold on. There is, you are not going to win this yeah. at all. No. So <laughs> just say, I'm sorry. And shut up and leave for an hour. No, but good, the point good advice, was, at the Jeffrey. time was by the time I got up there, she could have gotten in a cab and come home. You don't just get into a cab when you've had major surgery. <laughs> yeah. The hospital doesn't do it that way. We'll let Andrew Deutsch be the mediator in this. <laughs> Andrew? You don't want my answer. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I Albert, do. Albert, you've known us as long as we've been married. In fact, you know her, you know her from the time I met her, right? That's yes. right. Yeah. Yeah. What was the what's the issue? I didn't get the whole the thing. The issue was that she was in the hospital getting some minor surgery. I can't remember what it was. I don't think don't spine make it less than it is. Minor. It was just some simple spinal uh, uh, uh wasn't it a lobotomy adjustment or something like that? <laughs> it was major. <laughs> anyway. Nope. Uh, you wouldn't pick me up, Albert. No, it wasn't. I wouldn't pick you up. I said I would if you wanted me to, but practically, we better if. Hello, Kathleen. How are you? Uh, uh, if if I went down, if I if you grabbed a cab because it was just easier, it was faster. Well, that, that's the it plan. was faster. You wanted to get out of there. You didn't want to sit around the hospital, did you? I You're wrong. You're wrong. You know they something? Let me. Oh, you're okay. definitely wrong. All right. All right. If she can pick you up if after I your admit, colonoscopy, you can pick her up. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. If Thank I admit you. right that was my that was my asshole reference. Hold on a second. <laughs> if I admit right now, Margaret, that I was wrong. Oh boy, God, it only took a little bit. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If I admit I was wrong, will you never bring it up again? <laughs> will you promise to never bring it up again? Well, we'll see. No, then why I would, won't apologize. <laughs> why would she come and do that? Like of course, was, of course. Right every time. Why would she why would she ever agree to that? By the way, the numbers have gone up on this discussion. <laughs> of course. <laughs> We're not talking about movies. Hey, there's Kathleen. We haven't seen Kathleen in a while. Where are you? It's you're you're still in your place in in uh wherever. You're up No, there. I'm on the ocean. Oh, you're up in uh, Gualala. Yes. Finally. Spell Gualala. G-U-A-L-A-L-A. Gualala. Yeah. What's that? That's somewhere in Canada. It should be a it should be a town where Jerry Lewis lives. Gualala. <laughs> totally. I think antibiotics are used to take care of that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The so doctor anyway, told me Albert, how's, everything, how's everything down there? You sent us a little uh, thing today that and i don't know how they're going to do this without losing immense you have to show that months. card alex that you sent us a thing about krispy kreme right you can go yeah. in every day for one glazed donut for free if you show doesn't even have to be every day you can go to different krispy kremes on the same day absolutely oh. and all you have to do is show them your card right that you the guy had laminated do you, you have to, do you have to have both shots or can you get it starting on the first shot as long as you have a card you go in a krispy kreme you get a free donut yeah it's you want another shot. one tomorrow go tomorrow you want another one the next day go the next day if i want 2022 no one, good to, if i want two on one day i just go to two different krispy kremes right yeah oh, there we go isn't that beautiful look at that show them the ocean uh oh wow. look at that wow, wow. that's wow. right across that's highway one that you're uh, looking yeah. across, and then across that is the ocean. I just looked at where that is. It's only three hours from me. That's not bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where's it at? Just it's up the coast of California. California. It's just, yeah, it's just up the Mendocino coast. Oh, okay. Wow. Nice. Yeah. yeah. It's not far from me either. This no. Man, I'll pick you up in a little while. We'll go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Road trip. This is a house <laughs> father built that. And somebody said nobody else would want because he built it just for them. That's a nice yeah. houseboat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really nice. I, I, she said she was on the water. 
No, she's not on the water. There's a highway, and then there's the water. I get it. I get it. Otherwise, this would be one big ass houseboat. That's what I was yeah. just thinking. Yeah, yeah, one big ass houseboat. Anyway, um, uh, so good to see you and Albert. Uh, how's everything down there? Everything uh, you have spring break going on down there? Yeah, it's a party. Everybody come down, get COVID, <laughs> just like and, and take it home and spread it to the rest of the country. Can yes. I order, can I order a COVID colada at the bar? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> Miami Beach shut, shut down after eight o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not the police stay. shut them down. COVID it's doesn't come out till eight thirty. <laughs> Man, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's not good in Florida and Texas. Are you have you had an uptick yet, Charlie? Because of the uh, don't wear a mask. Not uh, yet. Not yet. Everybody crowded in together. A hundred percent open. Yeah, they they weren't wearing masks when you were supposed to in Texas, were they? No, most most places didn't. Yeah, they do or they don't. They didn't. Austin. Oh, they did, didn't. Right. I, That's the news well, right now, here. Now we now we have the second strain in New York City or this worst. It's called strain the New York they, strain. They say may not take care of this. How do you feel, Shecky, about getting the second, getting two shots and it <coughs> not work? You know what? It's Andrew Cuomo and his shiny coins. <laughs> you can't get rid of me we have another pandemic i'm gonna solve it you know, oh okay um, all right yeah well you know to, you, you saw today's shiny coin what was that if you're over 50 as of tomorrow you can get an injection do you know what they've said about him every time they find another woman that's accused <laughs> him the age goes down five years so he must but, be at about that, a six-year-old somebody now. wrote that oh you gosh. know what the latest was he looked down in my blouse. He was looking inside my blouse. That's oh, well, we need. are the buttons open. Give me Might a break. Well lock me up now. Yeah. So they're all broads, like under five five, because he'd be <laughs> looking up at my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. He, he never looked at my boobs. <laughs> how tall? Well, is, oh man! How That's tall sad. is Cuomo? Maybe he can't help but look down somebody's blouse. Yeah. <laughs> oh come on! It's what we do. <laughs> My question is this: Becky it lives in New York. Mandatory. I live in New York. Uh, 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 who else? Your wife lives in New York. Yeah. Who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At least for now. <laughs> oh, we will, oh, Steve Bender is in New York. Okay. Um, how many of us would vote for him if he ran again? Depends who's running against him. Well, what do you mean it depends who's running against him? It's going to be a Republican. All right. Well, I'm not going to, I mean, if, if it was primary or something, yeah, I wouldn't vote for a Republican. No, no way. How about in a primary? I would vote for him again. How about well, in... the guy who was unhooking the bra is a Republican. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I think we could probably do better. Do you think we could do better? Uh, I, I, my only but argument. But then, who would you pick to do better? Well, that's the I mean, question, right? I mean, I, that's I don't the know. problem. Yeah. The mayor. Bring back mayor. Rudy. I mean, has he done a bad <laughs> job of running the state? I thought he done a very good job. <laughs> yes, Mike. Uh, was Michael Bloomberg a good public servant? He was okay. Uh, up until he bought himself third term. for eight I mean, years, and then the last four years. When, well, but, but, but he okay. bought himself into the, that third. You got to remember, seven. Cuomo's in his third term now. He's going to go for a fourth term. I don't think, I I don't think anybody go. can governor that long. Go. You know? His father. <laughs> How long is his father, Alex? His father? I think two terms. Really? No, his father did more Maybe a third. Maybe a yeah. third. Yeah, but I mean, he's going for a fourth term. That that would mean. I don't think he's going to go, Alex. I think this is it. Really? I don't think he's going to run. Yeah. yeah, I don't either. Private practice after this. Yeah, yeah. There are no term limits in New York for governor. No, no, no. He can keep running till. Oh wow, now. really? He would. Yeah. Keep, if this hadn't come up, I think he'd he'd be running again for another four years. I agree. In fact, uh, he's given every indication that's exactly what he would do. And that's why Rupert Murdoch is running this campaign against him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know. It's funny. Only it kills me. Go down, either Eric or Donald can run for governor. I forget which of the two plans on running. 
And the wow. daughter's going to run for senator. Donald's oh, going to run for governor of New York. Yeah. Junior. 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 Actually, he actually, he actually said it a couple months ago. I mean, Donald Jr. Yeah. 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 I don't think. Oh, he, I don't great. think either of them could win with New Yorkers. I think he's such a drug a test. <laughs> no, because none of New York wants any of them back. <laughs> they have sorry. Them come back. We're, they no, have we're come glad. Back we're glad they live in back. Florida. You know, Florida's it's, sinking. I, May it sink our, even our more. Is your gain, Albert? Yeah. yeah. Why, why is that? Because you got Trump, and we don't have to take him back if we don't want him. Did you hear what happened at Mar-a-Lago? They had to close part of it down because of COVID. Yeah. Uh, no, the real thing. Yeah. yeah, they're still running the conventions and the banquet yeah. center. They're closing down the members' areas. You know why? <laughs> it's not making money. Right. <laughs> oh, he's lost business, hasn't he? As a result. Of yeah, but no. Oh, yeah. no but if you want a wedding at Mar-a-Lago, they're still open for business. Oh, absolutely. Uh, well, dear, too bad you we want to hold your and we can go to Mar-a-Lago and get married. There. Forbes, <laughs> Forbes magazine said that he's down. His personal wealth is down to two point three or two point four billion. He lost about a billion dollars while he was president. And he I stole that, that much and too, and it didn't offset it. Fifty dollars in tax. <laughs> yeah, he and, did. And then, if you get married at Ma, Marga Mara logo, or whatever the fuck that place is called, <laughs> you know, maybe Jabba the Orange will bless your wedding. <laughs> oh God. No, or, but it's or grab the bride by some on the members. <laughs> grab the bride by the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> what a, what a way to talk. What a way to talk about the orange turd. Agent Orange. Yeah. The tall Oompa Loompa. Hey, we've, we've been so good on this program on Mondays and not mentioning Donald Trump. It's been so lovely. Yeah, we were talking mentioning about who? Lago. He mm -hmm. just comes in tangentially. Yeah. 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 Um, um, and the scam of the week from him. That's all. I don't, I don't know if you've heard Alex, but yeah. he's, he's not a good guy. No. I, <laughs> we know. What, yeah. really? Who, what was Mar-a-Lago before it was what it currently is? It was the estate of um, Murray Mayweather Post. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. I thought it was an Armenian massage parlor. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the poor guy in Atlanta was having a bad day when he killed eight people. Well, I, I, yeah. I, I thought they were going to send uh, Robert Kraft down to go the, check out the, the argument, The <laughs> argument that, uh, that he's going to make, I'm sure, is that everybody gets cranky now and then. Right, right, right. He had a bad day. Yeah. Yeah. He went and killed people. When Alex has a bad day, he just doesn't pick up Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was having a good day. <laughs> oh, oh, wrong Damn. thing to say. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I will apologize for that. If she when? says that she will never bring it up when, when are you going it's to apologize? a bad deal, man. It's like women go... <laughs> what, what year? What? <laughs> Correct me, the two women here, if I'm wrong, but you women, you kind of look at these things as something you can cash in at a later date. It's in our okay. DNA. No, but it's in your... It's in your, it's in your uh, oh, yeah, you did that? Well, uh, guess what? Remember what you did? Bank. Yeah, you know. Oh no, officer Alex! I didn't punch him. He ran into my fist five times. <laughs> <laughs> With you, that was possible. <laughs> <laughs> you ought to come on the show at nighttime. Yeah, yeah. Who? Her? The, the, the gal that's uh, oh, on, the, on the uh, uh, show, uh, Kathleen. Uh, Kathleen. Yeah. She, she used to come on all the time. I can yeah. do that now, now that I'm. Free. Oh, really? Okay, because now she's living in Guadalajara. Maybe she goes to sleep too early, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, this ocean air is, I mean, Tracy, it must have just been pure pollution yeah. because here about eight o'clock and you're like this. Yeah, you know? uh, it's all the pot smoke. <laughs> that too. <laughs> It's the annual burning of the crops. Yeah. You betcha. <laughs> Wink. Hey, by the way, Albert, you know, pretty soon we're going to have legalized pot in New York. You can come back home. 
Well, uh, certainly, uh, I don't have any problems getting pot in New York. So what's the big deal? Well, I mean, I'm going to be able to go into a store and get myself a vape thing and, you know, with the pot cartridges and stuff like that. You know, you, you can't get the get gummies. It. It's a lot easier. Yeah. Gummies. Yeah. 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 But, if you need a care package, <laughs> I got this. I'm in Mendocino. All you have to do at Mendocino is just walk out in your front yard and cut off a bush and send it to us. You betcha. <laughs> That's great wheat in Mendocino. Oh, it's the best. Yeah. It's and the how. Best. I, I, yeah, I, I went up there. I had a girlfriend who lived up there and she worked for a doctor up there who wrote these prescriptions you know these medical uh because we all have glaucoma yeah <laughs> and I, he took us up to his apartment and brought out some pot that was just locally grown weed in mendocino yeah and i think i'm still trying to come down off of it I mean, it was <laughs> that good i mean it, it people say how good was it and i just say it was just it was incredible see you 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 know marjorie may forgive you if you said i was too stoned to drive <laughs> right i'm using that next time okay <laughs> hey, listen we gotta go this is pretty much it for now uh rick thank you so much always appreciate you calling mike chisholm thank you alan good to have you here len lafrisco jeffrey stein andrew deutsch charlie wallace steve bender marjorie miller albert reynoso and the lovely, attractive Kathleen Halstead, who does <laughs> accuse me of not picking her up at the hospital. So, <laughs> and now I will, week, sir. I will bring the show to an end, and I will now go into the other room where Marjorie will yell and scream at me. Well, she, she's got a pillow. She may smother you in your sleep. Anyway, <laughs> sounds about right. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I will give a big wave goodbye as well. Okay. Thanks.